Alphabet of Music by Barbie Height Schwaber, illustrated by George Stantillon and Debbie Clark. A is for Allegro. This music sounds quite cheerful. Its tempo brisk and snappy. An Allegro style song just might make you feel happy. B is for banjo. When you play the banjo, there are four strings you can strum. Sometimes there's a fifth string. You can pluck it with your thumb. C is for cymbals. Cymbals look like big brass plates. Their shape is always round. When a pair is struck together, they make a crashing sound. D is for drums. Drums play in an orchestra or a marching band. You can play the drums with sticks or simply with your hand. E is for encore. If an audience likes a show, they might want an encore. They'll clap so the performers come back and play some more. F is for flute. Listen for a soft, sweet tone or a high-pitched toot. A flutist often makes these sounds while she plays her flute. G is for guitar. A guitar is a string instrument that rock stars like to use. It's also played in different styles from classical to blues. H is for harp. Long ago in ancient Egypt, many harps were found. The harp has strings and pedals, and it makes a lovely sound. I is for interlude. When composers write a symphony, they sometimes change the mood by adding a short piece of music called an interlude. J is for jazz. Jazz is a style of music that many musicians play. It began in New Orleans, where it is still played today. K is for kazoo. Sing or talk to make a sound, but no matter what you do, you'll have lots of fun and laughs when you play a kazoo. L is for lullaby. Sing your song so quietly. Hush, do you know why? A baby just might fall asleep to your lullaby. M is for mariachi. A mariachi band will often play when it's time to celebrate. The music comes from Mexico. It makes a party great. N is for notes. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. Then you end with do. There are eight notes in a scale, as all musicians know. I was trying to sit right there. You sit right there, buddy. No, right here. I don't know where I am. Okay. O is for orchestra. In an orchestra, you might find percussion, brass, and strings. Sometimes there's a special guest who joins along and sings. P is for piano. All pianos have 88 keys that are black and white. This one is a baby grand. They also come upright. Q is for quartet. When you have three musicians and add one more, you get four musicians all together, and that is a quartet. R is for rhythm. Listen closely to hear rhythm. It has a steady beat. You can even ha clap your hands and sing along and even tap your feet. <laughs> S is for saxophone. You may learn about a saxophone in your music class. It has keys, a mouthpiece, and is often made of brass. T is for tempo. In music, you'll learn tempo, the Latin word for time. Tempo helps the rhythm and the lyrics that may rhyme. U. U is for ukulele. The ukulele is played in Hawaii. Its name means jumping flea. It looks just like a small guitar. If you see one, you'll agree. V is for violin. When you play a violin, you sometimes use a bow. This instrument may be small, but it often steals the show. W is for waltz. Musicians may often play a waltz. In beats of one, two, three, it makes some people want to dance and do so gracefully. X is for xylophone. This instrument has several bars. Each makes a different tone. You strike it with a mallet. It's called a xylophone. Y is for yodel. Are you ready to yodel? Okay, here we go. Change your pitch from low to high and sing yodelaleo. Z is for zither. Would you like to play the zither? It can be lots of fun. Zithers have several strings, but some have only one.